If the international phonetic alphabet has symbols and sounds you haven't mastered yet, it's time for IPA and IPAs with Molly. Hi, everybody. Welcome to IPA and IPAs, the unfussy show about the international phonetic alphabet and beer. I'm Molly from Molly Does Dialects, and tonight we are doing the Bat Balls Part 2, a.k.a. Hell's Corner! <laughs> it sounds scary. I promise you it's not. If you haven't watched Back Bells Part 1 yet, don't worry, it's on YouTube. You can do that whenever you want. Um, but tonight we're going to focus on three different phonetic symbols that get kind of confusing. But we're going to break it down in really, really basic terms, and it's going to be okay. But first, what am I drinking? So, tonight, for the first time on this show, I'm drinking a sour. This is a tropical squeeze. It's a tropical squeeze. It's a sour ale with mango, guava, and passion fruit from Armadillo Ale Works in Denton, Texas. I've never tried anything from them before. Um, ooh, it's very light, kind of hazy. see. Can we smell it? It's, it does smell sour. There's kind of like um, almost a lemonade -y smell. Citrus, I, I suppose you'd call that. Citrus. Okay. Okay, I'm very excited to try this. Cheers, everybody. This reminds me a lot of a shandy, but like a sour shandy. It's um, it's very fruity, and I'm I'm not always a huge fan of fruit beers, but this isn't bad. It's not like the sweet fruitiness it, because it's a sour. Um, it really does remind me of a shandy, and I like the color. I'm gonna see this. It reminds me a lot of lemonade, but tropical. Neat. Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you drink sours? Do you like them? Do you hate them? I feel like they're very divisive. Um, but this this is good. If you like sours, maybe you'll like this one. All right. So tonight's whiteboard has a scary looking name. And the reason that this seems scary and the reason we call it a corner is that on the vowel quadrilateral, these three sounds are the three that are right in the corner. And to some people, and in some American accents, there's mergers, so they sound the exact same, and that makes people really frustrated. So what I'm gonna do tonight is teach these three sounds, talk about what sounds they are, we'll talk briefly about um, what mergers exist, but if you're here to talk mergers, this is this is not a video for you. We'll talk about that in a later one. Deal? So no stress, grab your refreshment, and let's get started. Okay, the first sound we're talking about tonight is the ah, uh, as in father, ah, uh, father, drama, spa. And this is pretty easy to draw. It looks like a lowercase a. So it's, it's the same thing that I drew in the word father, right there. Ah, father. Neat, right? Cool. So the next one is the sound ah, as in lot or cloth. Ah. And this one looks sort of like a backwards A. It looks like this. There's a tail. So it's an A that's backwards, and that's the sound ah, as in, whoops, I smudged it. Oh no. As in lot or cloth, hot, copper, coffee pot, dodge, dog, chocolate. 
Um, yeah. Ah. And the third sound that we're going to learn tonight is the ah, as in thought, law, um, brought. And this one looks like a C that's backwards. So it looks like this. That's all. Um, although that, it got a little closed. It doesn't have to be quite that close, but it, it looks like a seed that's backwards. Thought, ah. Oh. And so I can already hear, I can already hear some people in my mind going, but those all sound the same to me. So we have ah, oh, as in father, ah, oh, as in lot or cloth, and ah, oh, as in thought. Now to talk mergers, so I'm going to take a drink. Okay, so the first thing I want to address is why there's two words here, why there's lot and cloth. And that's because there's something called the lot-cloth split. There are some people who differentiate these sounds, and the way they differentiate them is that lot words move closer to the sound in father, and cloth words move closer to the sound in thought. Now, if that's above your head, forget about it. I just want you to know that it's possible that some people say these words differently. And then there's another thing called the low back merger in linguistics or um, the caught caught merger. So that's caught, um, C-O-T versus caught. It's hard to write from this angle. So the caught caught merger. So there are some dialects, it's also called the lot thought merger. So there's some dialects in American English that say lot thought and they sound exactly the same. And if that's you, that's fine. I don't point any of these out to say your dialect is wrong. It's not. I don't really think anybody's accent is wrong. Um, but I do want to just point out that yours might be the same, and if it is, cool, that's cool to notice. And if it's not, sweet, you have an unmerged dialect. So, to quick recap, we have the ah, as in father, drama, spa. We have the ah, as in lot, cloth, hot copper coffee pot, dodge, Rob, and we have the ah as in thought, law, daughter, Paul, and that is Hell's Corner. Spooky! I'm kidding, you did it. You did it, and I'm sure you did it very, very well. Thank you for joining me this evening on IPA and IPAs, especially for this topic that can get pretty stressful to some people. I wanted to just introduce the basic, the phonetics for these today, and so we accomplished our goal, and we'll talk more about them in a later video. How do you differentiate between lot and cloth words? We'll cover all that later. But for now, it's enough to know these three sounds. Father, lot cloth, thought. Let me know in the comments below what you're drinking, what you want me to drink, if you like sour beer, all of it, I love, I love all of it. Or if you have questions about Hell's Corner or phonetics in general, post them below. I would love to answer them. Have a good week, everybody. Cheers. You can never fail with a fresh pale ale and molly.